Once a secretive research company, Blue Origin has proven rocket launch systems and advanced strategies for launching commercial payloads and space tourists into orbit. Is this an indication that Blue Origin is on track to be the next Amazon of space? Make sure you watch until the end of the video because today we'll be delving into the history and evolution of Blue Origin, a privately funded aerospace company based in the United States. Like this video and subscribe to the channel if you like our content and want to see more. Now let's get right into today's video. Blue Origin is a private aerospace company founded in 2000 and funded entirely by the world's richest man, Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos is the owner of the Washington Post newspaper and the founder and CEO of Amazon. And so far, the majority of Blue Origin's achievements have been funded entirely through his investment. According to the New York Times, he sells $1 billion of his own Amazon stock per year to finance Blue Origin. Bezos fascination with space travel and the evolution of human life in the solar system dates back to his childhood. When I was five years old, I watched what you just rewatched, and it had a huge impact on me. And it hasn't changed. None of that passion has gone away. This is me in high school. And I want to highlight this quote. The Earth is finite. If the world economy and population is to keep expanding, Space is the only way to go. When he graduated from high school in 1982, he was the valedictorian, a National Merit Scholar, and Silver Knight Award winner for science. Following his valedictorian speech, he gave a Miami Herald interview in which he shared interest in developing hotels, theme parks, and colonies for human beings in space. The 18-year-old Bezos stated that he wanted to protect the Earth from overuse through resource depletion. When Bezos created Blue Origin in 2000, he began his mission to bring his visions into reality. When Bezos funded Blue Origin, he was aided by several people who helped it get to where it is now. One of the key people in doing so is Rob Meyerson, an American aerospace engineer who led Blue Origin from 2003 to 2017 and was its first president. Working with Bezos, Meyerson led the company's growth from 10 people to 1,500 people during his tenure. Under Meyerson's leadership, Blue Origin developed the New Shepard system for suborbital human and research flights. The full-scale New Shepard vehicle, named after Mercury astronaut Alan Shepard, took to the skies for the first time on April 29, 2015. The New Shepard is a reusable, suborbital rocket system designed for space tourism to take astronauts and research payloads on an exhilarating 11-minute flight into space. Although the initial test flight was a success and the capsule was recovered by parachute landing, the booster crashed and was not recovered due to a loss of hydraulic pressure in the vehicle control system during descent. Despite this rough start, Blue Origin has since successfully launched 15 uncrewed test flights of the new Shepard to date. As of April 2021, the company has not yet flown any humans with the rocket, but with the next flight of the new Shepard, which will be NS-16. The company has indicated it may aim to carry a crew. Blue Origin is also developing the new Glenn system, named after pioneering astronaut John Glenn, for orbital human and research flights. Let's talk about new Glenn. New Glenn is New Shepard's big brother. New Glenn is big enough that New Shepard will fit in the payload bay of New Glenn. It's 3.9 million pounds of thrust. It's a very large vehicle. New Glenn is a two-stage heavy lift rocket with a diameter of seven meters or 23 feet, capable of carrying people and payloads to Earth orbit and beyond. Blue Origin is also designing and manufacturing the BE-4 engines that will power the first stage. With a combined thrust of nearly 4 million pounds, Blue Origin claims that New Glenn will carry twice as much cargo into space as any other launch provider in the market. Originally scheduled to launch in 2020, Blue Origin rescheduled New Glenn to launch in 2021. However, in February 2021, this was ultimately pushed back to no earlier than the fourth quarter of 2022. Although Blue Origin is headquartered in Kent, Washington, its engineers oversee most launches from a private suborbital launch and engine test site on Bezos Ranch just north of Van Horn, West Texas. Blue Origin is also currently constructing an orbital launch facility at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida, a nearby rocket construction facility, and a $200 million rocket engine production facility in Huntsville, Alabama. 
Today, we see publicity surrounding Blue Origin and its activities. However, things were not always that way, by design. The company's activities were usually kept under wraps during the early years. In fact, the existence of Blue Origin was only revealed in 2003, when Bezos started purchasing land in Texas. Unlike Musk, who gets most of the attention with SpaceX and has advanced further than anyone else, Bezos prefers to work quietly on his projects. Blue Origin's logo is quite simple and includes a modest feather overlaid on top of Blue Origin. Bezos has commented that the feather is simple, that it's a symbol of the perfection and freedom of flight. Blue Origin also has a motto, which is Gradatum Ferociter, Latin for step-by-step, step, ferociously. All right, Gradatum Ferociter, that's how we pronounce it, and um, I'm not actually, I actually have been told that's not the right way, but that's the way I like to say it. And um, Gradatum Ferociter, and uh, it means step-by-step, step, ferociously. And that's why we have, you'll see the two tortoises up there. Our mascot is the tortoise because we believe uh, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. Additionally, Blue Origin has created its own coat of arms, complete with turtles, a three-winged hourglass, which is a Victorian cemetery symbol that means time is fleeting, and various numbers on the shield, which correspond to the velocities required to reach various altitudes. So ingrained in this idea, the turtle being slow and steady, Blue Origin's team actually paints a tortoise on the capsule's hatch after each successful New Shepard flight. The company's name itself provides a hint about its long-term goals. Blue Origin's goal is to develop technologies to enable human access to space at a dramatically lower cost and increased reliability. Though Bezos has repeatedly said that humans should not desert Earth in search of a better home. Instead, he hopes to see millions of people living and working in space, eliminating heavy industry and power generation from Earth and preserving the planet. You may think that Bezos' plan sounds very similar to Elon Musk's vision, but is it? Although Bezos and Musk have vastly different visions of their space ventures, they are similar in several ways. For example, Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX and the tech billionaire behind Tesla, plans to establish a permanent, self-sustaining city on Mars. Meanwhile, Jeff Bezos is focused on constructing a path to space with new rockets that could pave the way for floating colonies in the future. While SpaceX has made an overwhelming amount of crewed and uncrewed trips to orbit in the International Space Station, Bezos' company has yet to reach the station, much less carry cargo or passengers into space. So why is Blue Origin much slower to market and less well-known as SpaceX? According to rumors from inside Blue Origin, the company has a high staff turnover rate, which doesn't lend itself to quick growth. These are issues that Bezos would likely be able to solve if he were willing to put in the time and effort. Currently, however, he only devotes one day a week to Blue Origin, which doesn't seem to be enough to fulfill the company's lofty ambitions. However, this could change soon. In February 2021, Bezos announced that in the third quarter of 2021, he would step down from his role as CEO of Amazon. Bezos would not retire entirely, but will take on the executive chair of the Amazon board. This announcement has sparked a wave of rumors about what will happen next. Blue Origin and space exploration will likely take up most of Bezos' time and other aspects like climate change, politics, and philanthropy. In a letter to Amazon employees on February 2nd, 2021. Bezos explained that he needed to focus on day one fund, the Bezos Earth Fund, Blue Origin, the Washington Post, and my other passions. Bezos said, I've never had more energy, and this isn't about retiring. On the contrary, I'm super passionate about the impact I think these organizations can have. What are your thoughts on Jeff Bezos' decision to step down as CEO of Amazon? Do you think Blue Origin will be able to reach its target anytime soon? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. We'll see you guys in the next one.